Hi, welcome to another Dave's Desk. Today I'm with Liam Brooks, who's the lead program manager. I suppose so, yeah, yeah. delivery manager. Chief exec, right, <laughs> of the Inspirational Learning Group. This is a massively forward-thinking company who deliver enterprise and business workshops in the academic arena. The reason I'm speaking with Liam today is having worked with him many, 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 many times, is the way he gets rapport with young people is something to behold. He's really, really good at engaging young people. So, Liam, it, people watching this could be teachers, they could be parents, they could be business owners, but all of us have either been a kid, know a kid, or have got a kid, right? 100%. So, let, let me pick your brains. What, when you first enter a room full of young adults, how do you, how do you go about gauging them, weighing them up? I think it's about um, kind of having a look at those young people, the conversations they're having with different people in the year group. You, you'll immediately notice that the people that are um, perhaps more confident, more flamboyant, more outgoing, <laughs> um, perhaps the people maybe sit a little bit quiet at the back of the room and, and kind of work out the ones that perhaps want you to be a little bit of a, a friend as a presenter to get through to them that way and the ones that maybe need a, an arm around the shoulder if you like and, and kind of helping them out that little bit more. And then once you've, so you, you, you suss the lie of the land, the language they're using, how boisterous they are, and the, the al as I call them, the alpha males and the pussycat dolls, you know, right. who, who are they? <laughs> you spot who's gonna be the troublemakers, and, and then how do you go about engaging them? I think it's about, you know, every young person's gonna need a, an individual case, an individual approach, and, and as I say, you, you'll kind of understand that just by standing back and observing the room. Um, we're lucky that, you know, it's a, a team, we tend to have three, four, five different people in schools. Yeah. Um, and everyone's got their own different skill sets. So the ones that are that little bit more confident um, might perhaps have some of the, the younger members of the team that can have a little bit more of a chat oh, to them, wow. talk about the kind of things that they're involved in out of school. It's all right, Ben, that's our director's just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> you might have the uh, you know the young people a little bit more quiet too, just want to chat about you know what do they enjoy at school um, and just understanding their interests and moving from there, I suppose. Okay, so you've sussed them, you've started to get rapport and engage with them. What's what's been the one golden nugget you've picked up from watching other presenters that you now use and works most of the time? I think to be honest, it's been interesting probably in that for myself to be honest with you, David. <laughs> so. <laughs> kind of uh, understanding um, you know how to, to use a space make sure it's not a case of being stood in one place and being that interesting person and charismatic person that's going to grab their attention and hopefully inspire them really <laughs> so if there's a teacher or a parent homeschooling at the moment what is your top tip for them to be able to do that I think enjoy it really. I think that um, you know it's all well and good reading off the back of a PowerPoint or simply reading a fact sheet, but actually it's about making that young person kind of grasp it. And you know it's all well and good reading the black and white. Um, if you can get some sort of a joke in there, if you can get some sort of a, a physical action in there, um, something that's going to be that little bit more memorable and, and stick in that young person's mind, that's the the goal to success. I would hope. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I I know you work in literally hundreds of schools <laughs> all over the UK every single year you've got plans to go abroad and everything but if there's a teacher watching this how can they understand what you do at ILG Inspirational Learning Group? I think that um, you know us as a business it's about recognising the, the different needs of young people and our programmes are all about working with people of all different backgrounds, all different abilities, and the, the kind of key success in that is that the content we produce, which tends to be real life business challenges set by you know, industry leaders, the likes of NatWest, Air Products, Grenade, and so on. Um, it's about making the, the PowerPoints that we tend to use as kind of as simple as a base knowledge whereby it's universal, everyone can understand, and then at those individual table conversations, testing that young person to, to push them as much as you can. So on a, a kind of um, universal approach, then room whereby hopefully there's loads of people which we'll get back to um, everyone's kind of working to a similar level and no one's feeling left out but at an individual table level you can make each young person feel special and, and push and challenge them that bit more wonderful <laughs> so if, you, if you're good enough leave us leave us with one magic moment you've experienced working in a school hall with hundreds of young people you know something that happened that was just like a wow moment I think probably one of the uh, the most uh, inspirational moments that we've probably had was working in a school in Chester. Yeah. Um, and there was a, a young lady that was, um, she, she was just really shy and quiet, and I'm sure she'll be the, the first to admit it really before taking part. Um, and the programme, something called the Inspiration Programme, which is a, a four day course all about kind of motivation, all about um, understanding kind of future career pathways. Yeah. Um, 
And at the start, as I say, she came into this room, bless her, really shy, really quiet. Um, and day one was all about team building, so working in kind of groups of five and six to overcome your, your kind of simple tasks. Um, she ended up taking over as a project manager of that team. I think she was pushed into it a little bit because none of the other guys wanted yeah, to. You do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, and then from that, she ended up um, kind of leading that team on that day. She ended up volunteering with project manager roles on the other days. Um, and then the fourth day is kind of a, a celebration where they get up and talk about their experiences. Um, and that young girl that sort of presented on the fourth day was just incomparable to the one from the first day. Um, you know, standing talks to a room of 50, 60 different people, um, talking about her personal journey. And I think that that's something that is kind of epitomising everything that you know people like yourself that we do um, getting those kind of young um, minds that you know can achieve anything they want to. maybe just need that little bit of a you know confidence boost to go on and achieve it really so Liam if there's a if there's a businessman or woman watching this and thinking I'd like to sponsor an event like that in a school or maybe there's a teacher who thinks we need ILG in our school What's the website? How can they get hold of you? Um, you can reach us in lots of different ways. Our social media is everywhere at the minute, so we generally are tilg underscore UK. Um, our website is www.theinspirationlearninggroup.co.uk um, and we can come to your schools, we can deliver events there or in the, the digital age we're in right now. Um, we've got an industry uh, leading, really, um, platform called Tilg Virtual, so live events, pre-recorded events, so we can do whatever you need us to do. Book them before they realise how cheap they are. <laughs> Liam, that was fantastic. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, Keep it up, you'll be good at this one day. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you very Cheers, much. Mate. See you soon on another day's desk. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Have in it.